Hey there. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I got a couple of tools. This is just going to be a quick video. I got a couple of tools to make drilling beads <clears throat> a little easier and maybe a little more straight. Um, so I got two different things and I'm going to show you each of them. Um, they both work pretty well. This one I got on Amazon, it's a pearl vise. They're both actually called pearl vices. Um, this one works well, but it is a pain in the butt to get um, your bead in there. I use the largest one, and actually I don't even think these beads, let me find something else, hold on. I'll do this one. All my beads already have holes in it, so I'm just gonna make another hole. But anyway, I'm using the largest hole, if you can see. Um, and then you clamp it down with matching up the top largest hole and it moves around and is generally a pain in the butt, but this was a very inexpensive thing on Amazon. I'll put a link to it. Um, it was less than $10. Oops, see, and that's another thing. You have to get it into this little area back here so that it stays in. It's it's just kind of a pain, but um, it does work. So you clamp your bead down in there like that. And then what I've been doing is this side's flat, that side has the screw. I just rest the flat side down and then find the middle. Hold on, I need my glasses. <clears throat> Excuse me. Find the middle and then drill straight down. And it goes straight in, which is good, but then now you have to unscrew the whole thing. And it and it does go straight through. Let me find a, something that I can show you. I don't even know where I went. I had these already had holes in them, so Ugh. Sorry guys. It does it it does work pretty good. This on the other hand, I like a lot. This is made by Jewel Tool. If you guys have heard of them, um she's got videos and stuff like that um up on YouTube. She's got another product uh, the buffer and sander that even though I don't buff and sand my beads, I'm, I really want to get because it just looks amazing, but it's a little expensive. Um, anyway, this is very cool. It's, um, it's a crank down. It's got the little resting places for your bead on both sides. And then this is where your drill is going to go through. So it goes through almost perfectly straight every single time. So you just rest your bead in there. Clamp it down. You do have to be careful that it doesn't move off center. Just make sure it's in the center of, <clears throat> excuse me, where you want it to be. The only thing um, about this one is the hole, there's another hole inside of this big hole um, and it's very small. So I had to put a super small bit on my, um, on my tool here. So you literally just go through and that is it. And it is perfectly centered and it's much easier than the other one. Uh, this, the cost on this one is uh, $25 and you can get it at jeweltool.com and I will put a link. Let me see where my hole is. Goodness, guys. Oh, here we go. Right there. It's perfectly through the center. Both sides. Um, so, obviously, I like this one better. If you are wanting to save some money, get this one. It works perfectly fine. It's just a little bit not user-friendly um, as far as putting taking them in and taking them out. So, 
I'll put links to both of them on here and I just wanted to give you a quick demo of how they worked. So have a great rest of your weekend. I, you guys will see me Monday. Bye.